Let's look at how we can we can calculate a raw score that meets set, that meets some criteria, such as the score that's in the 75th percentile or the score that's in the 10th percentile. So continuing our study of the five girls who eat uh, chips, we want to know how many chips would someone need to eat to be in the 75th percentile. And that would mean we would be wanting to find what z-score indicates that someone is at uh, higher than 75% of all the others, or that the area to the left of the z-score would be 75% or 0.75. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to use norm s inverse, the Excel command, to find z. Now, the norm s inverse of the area, well, here we say it's 75%, or the norm s inverse of the probability, like it's 75%, uh, would uh, equally apply to find the, the z. So we're going to use the Excel command to find z equals norm s inverse, so normalized standardized inverse, a 0.75 to get the percentile rank. And then if we know that z equals x minus the mean divided the standard deviation, so we can calculate x from z from this formula here. So let's uh, enter into Excel. There, I've pulled up Excel here, and let's look at what we have here. We want to calculate the 75th percentile of z using the equation equals norm s inverse, open parentheses. Now we put the probability or the fraction of the scores that would be to the left, and the 75th percentile means that 75% of the scores would be to the left, so I put 0.75, close the parentheses, and press enter, and we get a z of 0.674. So someone that has a Z score of 0.674, actually, let's, uh, um, let's change the number formatting of that to something easier to read. So I'm going from home to number, to general, to number. So a Z score of 0.67 corresponds to the 75th percentile. So now we've got to convert that to the number of chips. Because just saying that, oh, I'm in the 0.67 uh, my z-score is 0.67 in terms of eating chips, nobody's going to know what you mean. So the data that we have is that the average customer eats 8 chips and with a standard deviation of 5. So we're going to use this formula of x equals the mean plus the z times the standard deviation to, to get what that number of chips is. So I click in here and I use my formula equals. Now the mean is E11 plus the z-score is g11, and I'm going to times that with a star by the standard deviation, which is e12, and I press enter, and I get 11.37 chips. Let's round that off. So home, number, number format. So 11.37 chips would put me in the 75th percentile of chip eaters. So someone that eats 11 chips at Taco King would be, would be eating more chips than 75% of the people in the, that come to the restaurant.